And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Perfect. And you must be the new engineer. Or maybe our new gunner. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier's our goal. It's rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. Far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay, we'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Curious feeling, knowing that you've seen something that no one else has. That you know something no one else does. Take this. Enjoy. Souvenirs are fun to pick up, but better to give. Enjoy. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. Don't worry about it. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Anything I can do for you? Yeah, what if you've got something for me? Fine by me. So, I hear My parents considered cool themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So don't worry, I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, 
I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. I hope you got something out of that. Time to go? Good to see you. Dad and I will be riding passenger with you. The most boring job in space travel. I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. I read. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship. But he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Hint, hint. You can ask. I promise I'll be good. It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once. Same boring old planet for like years. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? Yup. I've been his co-pilot since I was old enough to read a map. He lets me fly sometimes, and fix things aboard, and use the intercom and everything. I just have to promise not to complain about having to stay aboard the ship when we're somewhere dangerous. Dad says when I'm older, he'll teach me how to use a pistol, and once I'm a good enough shot, I can go with him anywhere. I can't wait to get older. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Yes? Well, I think about it a lot. There are so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. Well, when I picked it up, I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something spectacular, though. I saw a vision, flashing lights, the whole shebang. Well, he certainly means something, because not everyone who touches the artifacts sees them. My first instinct was it was a message of some kind, like the Voyager records. Communication from a higher life form reaching out blindly into space but now I'm wondering if the vision wasn't just sensory. My new theory is something's changed in us physiologically, as in not just a message from beyond, but a delivery. On Bendy? No, wait, it was Kazal. Uh, I can feel Lynn's admonishing stare boring a hole in my back. She's not actually standing behind me, is she? Well, point is, my story is probably a lot like yours. We dug a pit, found some really wonky readings, and followed them to the artifact. Sure. Like what? Let's see. I've been in Constellation for a long time, as you know. I enjoy cheese, mm -hmm. my work, and long walks on unexplored planets. <laughs> what else did you want to know about? Always a pleasure. See you later. Hey, how are you? Appreciate the lift. No Certainly. Here you go.
Welcome to the Freestar Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. All right, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. Struts primed, retros firing. <laughs> the stility of the wildlife here is legendary. One wonders if it's so hostile because of chance, or because it had to be to exist in the environment itself. Right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Ko. As in Solomon Ko, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. You planning to... You tell me your demands at some point? Someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, and not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. What am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. 
Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him, and don't try nothing. Security around here. Negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Uh, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? We've been in worse scrapes than this. We can handle being stuck in a bank. Yeah, I'm already sick to death of this place. Oh, you want to be a hard ass, is that it? Well, I can be a hard ass too. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Oh, hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys... They're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Part of me just wants to be rid of these people. But we need them right where they are. I know, I know. Not disagreeing with that. Marshal might take us down, but we'll take down some of his on the way. I promise you that. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. Those guys are scared. I can tell. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. 
That puts us in a very precarious position. I appreciate your idealism, but there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. And once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. The shock game's making fools of us all. Now I have two heroes. We owe you everything. The Marshal gives you a big reward. Hostages. Are they safe? That's... that's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Freestar Collective. They're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw Gang, we'll grieve for them too. Here, 
You've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Of course, that old mule saw this coming. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. Yeah, well, I don't gotta say it. I know, it's just... It's personal. All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? <laughs> God, that's the worst part. They're thick as thieves. Last thing I need is Jacob in her life. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, a uh, code tradition. All right, shall we? saying my family was on the first finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. 
Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30-plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. What do you want, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's co property by birthright. It stays here. You really believe that, don't you? You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this. But if it'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave.
matters. Waste not, need not. Heard that right?
Never mess with a co. Where the hell they go? See if you can get any vid reception. I'm missing my stories. Smugglers use caves like this everywhere. Sometimes you get lucky and find the damnedest things around. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice.
Saying I should cut my losses. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. Boss, it's the Ashta. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. I guess I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Take it and get, get out of here before I change my mind. We're in one. Hey, we're back. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Just... what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency okay. or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or... Maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cor and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Likewise, you know where to find us. Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even the king. I... At your service, Captain. 